Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel and without further ado, I just want to give you some of um, garden updates and the new plants that I have this season which are my amaryllis look at that guys I got them for bargain price for five dollars look at that so hopefully this one will still grow and these are the amaryllis that I have in here look at that so beautiful and it's also so huge and it's trying to get out of its um, packet now and this one as well this one I think is what uh, it's called sweet mint and yes I think I need to plant them as soon as possible because it looks it looks like um, they've been dried out for a long time it's starting to become desiccating almost desiccating but yes I have another one in here which is really good as well and look at that the color of the plant is starting to show up as well of, I mean the flower so um, we'll continue with this one and uh, we'll be back in a short while and aside from the amaryllis we also bought some of this geranium and this very beautiful hostas look at that it's called Regal Splendor so we will be planting them down there here in what we call Zen Garden so hopefully they will grow and yes okay guys so I just um, brought this flower vase with some water here inside and I just need to soak this amaryllis here in the water for like 24 hours because they're really like starving for water I think they're really thirsty so I just um, leave them there for a while and it's also good that you soak them in the water as soon as um, possible because it's also going to expedite their growth that's what I heard from one of um, the Amaryllis expert on YouTube and also based on one article that I've read online so let's do that one but I actually don't need to you know expedite their um, growth because as you can see they're already growing but I I can tell that they are so thirsty right now and they need to be soaked in the water as soon as possible it's clearance that's why I can see that um, the bulbs are not really looking good but let's see um, I just want to take a chance and it's five dollars anyway compared to how much they're selling this one online usually around 25 to 31 dollars I think 31 dollars was the most expensive New Zealand dollars uh, 20 25 to 31 New Zealand dollars I think 31 was the most expensive um, Amaryllis I've seen online so let's see and I'm probably going to put this one here as well and some of them will be planted in this um, wall planter I'm going to replace those um, hookahs that I planted on there and move them somewhere and put the amaryllis there and put them in here so yes guys so I'm just gonna soak them in the water and once I'm done with that one I will be back okay guys so now I am soaking them into the water and before soaking it into the water by the way guys I just want to inform you that I also removed those extra dead roots those that are obviously dry already because um, it's no use anymore so I just leave those that still seem to be a bit healthy roots that can survive when they will be planted so that's uh, what I'm going to do for now with them and just leave them here for 24 hours and by the way guys it's um, also very important to know that if you're going to leave this amaryllis in the water because you have an option you you can actually plant them in the water or you can also plant them together with your potting mix or in the soil but 
if you choose to leave them in the water you can actually um, put them in the flower beds with some marbles just to put some decoration and then soak them in the water just make sure that it's the root that is touching the water and not the bulb itself because if it's the bulb that is soaked in the water all the time then they will rot because as much as possible you don't want to soak the whole bulbs into the water but at the moment i'm just gonna leave this one like this um for 24 hours because as mentioned guys they just been bought and i just want them to at least get some water as much as they can and then after 24 hours i will put them in the pot where they will be planted permanently all right guys so after 24 hours so here you go um as you can see some of them have already started to um sprout um when i purchased them and right now i have this um, monte carlo that is like almost about to bloom and unfortunately um for this one it's too late i think for this one to become straight because it's already there it's blooming however i noticed with um some of them um yesterday they were a bit bent this one but um as you know that i left them sitting on the water for 24 hours just to let them you know um get some water and because i noticed that these are clearance and they are usually clearance are like almost desiccating so i am really just trying my luck if this will be able to survive for another um year and i think i can uh, say that they're still looking healthy even though they are already for sale as clearance but um just to take note also guys i noticed that um some of them are easily going straight again um just like this one it was a bit bent also yesterday and this one seemed to be going um on a straight direction as well so um just also make sure that if you purchase them like um, the same case with mine in here you can just make sure if you're going to plant them just make sure to plant them in a way that the bent part the opposite part is facing the sun so that it will still try to stand straight so that you can avoid this uh, bent or leaning appearance like this one in here so this one i think um will probably not be able to grow straight anymore but it's fine um as mentioned i bought them cheap and i probably will have to accept the fact that this is it for this season but um even though it's it's cheap it doesn't mean that i will not try my best to make them survive and so as you can see um i have planted some of them already and whenever you are planting them you can always try to put some decoration like maybe pebbles on top and maybe some white chips i was actually thinking of white chips because we have white chips on our uh, ground here so but um i'm thinking probably i just leave them with this um potting mix just ordinary potting mix and i will be watering them i think i can start watering watering them regularly at least once a week i think that's probably the best thing about this um amaryllis because they don't really require a lot of watering while they are growing and just make sure also to place them in a bright position especially when they are about to flower like um the one i have in here but this ones in here i think they can tolerate um the shade the full shade especially when they're inside your house even though you place this one in in not so bright location since this one is almost um flowering well it's already flowering in there as you can see but as much as possible they prefer to be in a bright location and i think 
we will not have any issue here in our house because our house is actually a bit bright so I can place them anywhere inside our home and yes so here you go guys finally I was able to plant all of my hippiastrum or amaryllis and what I have in here right now is this Monte Carlo and look at that guys it's starting to show me its bloom right now and hopefully it will survive because as you know that um, this was just a clearance and I have another one in here which I think one of my favorites I, or I also ordered this one online which is my sweet mint I'm still waiting for my other um, hippias room or amaryllis hopefully they will arrive soon or I'm actually expecting them this week and just talking about this amaryllis let me just show you what I have placed here inside our house so I have two in here so here you go guys as you can see they have straightened themselves so from time to time you just need to turn around the pots so that they will not keep on leaning towards the sunlight and I have Gervais in here which is one of my favorites and also the pop up. So here you go guys after three days and my pink nymph is now blooming but as you can see my pop up is a bit leaning towards the sunlight the other day so I have to um, place it in this way facing the opposite side so that it will lean towards the sun and it will become straight hopefully alright guys so here is my Monte Carlo and as you can see almost all of the buds are blooming right now and I think that would be all for today guys I hope you enjoyed this video I will give you some more updates about my amaryllis and I still have some more to arrive and I will definitely share with you what are those on my next video thank you very much and I will see you again on my next one bye for now